Hey guys, welcome to my new video and in this tutorial I'm going to be going over how you can add some toning to black and white photos in Adobe Lightroom. And this can be used just to make your photos look a bit cooler, change them from just plain black and white, and it adds quite a nice effect in my opinion. Now just quickly before we get started, I've put a link in the top of the description and it's to this t-shirt design you see here. Now currently DeviantArt is holding a quotes challenge for t-shirts and my good friend Alex um, created this t-shirt design here and you need a DeviantArt account to be able to vote so if you do have an account feel free to click that I'd wear this button to vote for his design if you do like it if not go through the other designs and see if you like any of those so yeah um, also you can check out his gallery if you want he's got some really cool wallpapers that you can see here um, different ones for Tekken and everything that you might like so if you're into graphics and wallpapers, be sure to check out his gallery, you might find something you're interested in. So on to my tutorial now. So here's the photo I'm going to be using, and it's just a photo I took on Mother's Day of my oldest brother here playing with my little cousin. And it's horribly underexposed, I think it was just on aperture priority mode and it was really dark in the room. Um, so yeah. Anyway, um, so I just went ahead and edited it to a normal black and white, and this is what it came out to look like. So I've just bumped up the exposure, played around with the highlights and shadows, and sharpened it and added some noise reduction. You can see it comes out to a pretty nice effect here. So this is a plain black and white, and as you can see, I've got four different screenshots here of different tones. So I'll just go through those, and you'll see the different tonings and how it affects the image. So the top one here is a bit of an orange and blue or orange and greeny looking tone and uh, the shadows are a bit blue, the highlights are a bit orange. Uh, the second one here is a bit softer, it's a bit of a bluish one. Third one is more of just a cream tone and the fourth one is a bit of a purple and cream one and this is probably my favorite one, well my new favorite toning to use and I think it just looks great on portraits and pretty much anything. Um, so let's go back to the default black and white, and if you're wondering just how I got to this stage, like I said before, exposure, um, and pretty much just noise reduction and a bit of curves, so nothing special. Okay, so let's go ahead and go down to the split toning column here. Now, the top half controls the highlights and the bottom half the shadows, so say if we wanted to make the highlights a bit orange and the shadows a bit blue, we'd drag the sliders across to those and then start playing with the saturation tabs. And you can see the effect that gives off, and then you can play around with this balance to either make it more of the shadow color or more of the highlight color. So, as you can see, it changes like that. And, you know, there's a kind of decent looking effect there. Okay, but instead of me just playing around the sliders and you playing around the sliders, I've written down a few, um, written down three different tonings that you can use. And you can just copy these effects and adjust them slightly to your liking. Um, so the first one is that orange and purple one. So for the hue on the highlights, we're going to type 60. For the saturation, we're going to type 30. For the balance, we're going to type 40. For the hue on the shadows, we're going to type 265 and 30 for the saturation and you can see that creates that very nice uh, purple and orange kind of effect and if we just flick that on and off it's quite a big difference um, so there's those settings there if you want to copy them the next one is a bit of an orange and green one so we're going to type 40 for the hue 40 for the highlight hue 30 for the highlight saturation uh, 30 for the balance 160 for the shadow hue and 20 for the saturation on that one. You can see that's a bit of a greenish one. Um, you know, another cool effect, maybe a bit too strong on the saturation on the shadow, so we can bring that down. And then it goes a bit more faded. And you know, that one looks quite nice as well. And the final one is just that simple plain cream one. So just 50 in the hue, 25 in the saturation, 0 in the balance, 10 in the hue, and 0 in the saturation. And that just creates that very nice creamy color compared to that black and white. Uh, now another thing you can do with your black and white edits is flick this back to the color tab here. And just pretty much bring down the saturation a lot. Not quite all the way to the bottom. And you can see that still leaves slight uh, colors here. So bright colors like this red in the background, this blue on his shirt, still remain slightly colorful. And you know, that's just another cool thing you can do instead of completely um, black and white image. And quickly before I end, there's also a few that are built into Lightroom here. Um, this, uh, these will all be really dark, but um, some different ones there and some split turnings that are already in Lightroom. So check those out if you want. And thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.